It's been a little while since we last looked at the Kingston Dock. We're going to put that right today, and I want you to count the cranes. And while you're doing so, pay attention to the area indicated. The big pile driving rig has been busy throughout the period. And the still fresh concrete on that ramp is looking pretty good. Addressing different tasks in a limited space means moving the cranes around quite a bit. And just about every hour as gravel is being shaped on the dock, the ferry arrives. Pay close attention, once again, to the area indicated. It's worth, too, noting the forms in place awaiting concrete on the south retaining wall. Be sure and count the cranes as we skip forward a week or two. Less than two weeks later, that area of interest is definitely being transformed. Work with and around the massive pile driver always produces something interesting. Skipping ahead another two weeks and the change to that south side area is dramatic. Could these be the foundations of the new passenger terminal? Work continues steadily along the finger dock. In fact, it's a pretty busy site overall. Beside the ramp, Ontario dive services are busy, supporting the installation of new frames on in-water piles. The presence of a truck mixing concrete on site suggests that grout is perhaps being added to the in-ground piles. The first week of June is certainly proving Kingston Dock to be a very active place. The new in-water frames on the north side are very evident a day or two later. Pumping fluids under pressure requires constant attention to seals and connections. Before any redundant materials leave site, they have to be thoroughly cleaned and prepared. The likely foundations on the south side are now enjoying the attention of the highly skilled iron workers. The area immediately adjacent to the ramp is showing progress too, but this seems to be the primary focus of attention. We'll close here on a very smoky June 6th, where concrete is clearly awaited to continue the south retaining wall, and work continues amongst the in-ground piles. If you find these updates interesting and useful, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.